Okay, I'm gonna make this really short and um, really quick. Just wanted to talk about a couple of dreams I had. First dream I had was um, I am on Fort Benning. That's where I currently live at, and I was with my kids. And all of a sudden, this long road appeared in front of me. And at the end of the long road was a cliff, and at the top of the cliff was a cloud, and in the cloud was this huge man standing in the cloud. So me and a bunch of other people I didn't know started running towards this cloud and um, <clears throat> when we get to the cloud there's a bunch of what looks like birds flying all around him I don't know what kind of birds it kind of reminded me of doves but maybe maybe not I, I'm not quite sure what the doves they just resembled them a little bit and um, there was a like a choir or something behind him I couldn't really see them but it was massive it was like this massive group behind him and they were singing a song and um it wasn't in a language that I could understand but I just I knew they were singing to this particular person and um all of a sudden these birds that are flying around them fly out of the clouds and land one per person in each hand young and old it didn't matter the age of the person or who they were and when it landed in my hand it turned into a white letter um, and I couldn't read it um, but what was funny is that anybody who tried to read my letter they couldn't read my letter, and if I try to read somebody else's letter, I couldn't understand or read their letter. I could only attempt to read mine, but it wasn't in a language I could understand. The only thing I got from the letter that I could, I guess you could say, understand was, it was almost like it felt like an invitation or an affirmation or um, acknowledgement that belonged to me. And um, so everybody gets their letter, and everybody starts singing and dancing and stuff like that. And um, for some reason, I feel like this overwhelming compellingness to go to the edge of the cliff. So everybody's still at the base, I guess you could say, of the cliff or the hill, whatever side. It's like a cliff because it's a drop off. So to me, I call it a cliff. And um, so I get to the edge of the cliff and all of a sudden something just rose up in me. And I was like, okay, I'm doing this. And what I mean when I say I'm doing this is the inside of me. I said, I'm going to jump into these clouds that this man was standing in and he was just enormously huge and I didn't have no fear or anything and um so I closed my eyes and I said I don't know what's gonna happen I don't know if I'm gonna fall I don't know if I'm ever gonna see my kids again but I'm jumping so I take a deep breath in I hold my breath I close my eyes and I jump and I'm waiting for that feeling I don't know if you've ever had this dream where you feel like you're falling and your body just completely startles and jumps because you can feel the actual feeling of your falling so I'm jumping in and I'm waiting for that feeling like like I'm falling and the feeling doesn't come so I really slowly open up my eyes and when I look around me I'm in this cloud like I'm totally suspended in air in this cloud with all this cloud and fog and mist all around me and everything and yet I didn't feel scared I still didn't feel scared and all of a sudden I heard this voice clear as day in English um, tell me with like this echoey loud voice he said very clear a beast on earth and a thousand shall descend and I think to myself what a, a what on earth I'm trying to like not because I didn't hear him but I just wanted to make sure I was understanding what he said so he did say it again he said a beast but it sounded like now like he was in my face only I didn't see nobody in my face and um it was still clouds and the clouds got thicker and it was like it was like right here in my face and it was like like, you know, like if I'm like this, you know, at you, you know, giving you the gist of the, the sensation. And it's like a beast on earth and a thousand shall descend. And I woke up. And when I woke up, it kept echoing in my head over and over again. A beast on earth and a thousand shall descend. Like, what what beast on earth and what thousand is going to descend? I don't understand that. Um, really quickly, I don't read the Bible a lot. I don't go to church a lot. I don't pray a lot um, I do believe in Jesus Christ but I'm one of those types of people that I guess some religious figures would call the backslider or um, a hill grazer or a fence rider or um, a thorn or I mean, whatever the names are there's like so many names call people like me that just I guess we just can't get it together we just straddle um, I am admitting that because I don't want anybody up here saying, oh, you think you're a prophet, oh, you think you're so perfect, or 
you think you got it all together and why would you think that God would be talking to you? I don't know why. Let me answer all your questions right now. I am not perfect. I never think I was perfect. Thought thought I was perfect. Um, like you said, I can't even speak right. Um, cuss, yell, drink, and all the kinds of crap you think someone do. I believe in Jesus Christ, but I am a hypocrite. Um, I am a fence rider. And uh, no, I don't think I'm a prophet. I don't know why God would be talking to me. I don't under I don't know why he would choose somebody like me to speak to if indeed he's speaking to me at all. I don't know why. So that this let's just answer those questions right now. So if you can answer that for me, I want to know because as much as you guys probably want to know well, what makes you so special, I want to know um obviously nothing. Maybe he just wanted to. Maybe he knew that eventually I would get up on a video and have the nerve to talk even though I am a nobody, you know? So Maybe that's a little grace there that I've got from God. Hopefully, hopefully I got some grace from God because lately I, I'm starting to believe in Rapture. I've been listening to CodeSearcher.net. I've been listening to Video Man DVD. I've been listening to Pastor Paul Bagley. Um, some people here on YouTube, random people who make videos lately about the Rapture. And I've been listening to what you guys have been saying and some of the dreams that you guys have been having. And a lot of them are like the dreams I'm having so um, I'm gonna make us I'm gonna make several videos right now because I found out with the first video I tried to upload that I only had a certain amount of time to upload I guess if you're not like a member or I don't know what you call it for YouTube if you don't make consistent videos or have a number of subscriptions or whatever like that you only have like a certain amount of time to upload a video so I think my time is like like nine minutes or ten minutes or something like that that's all I got so um if um if anybody has any comments, um, please make them. But what I don't need is I don't need anybody sitting here talking down on me, telling me what I'm not. Because I know what I'm not. I know what I don't do. I know that, you know, there's a very slim chance that if this rapture does happen and if there is such a thing as rapture, that I'm not going. I mean, if I go, then, oh my God, like, that's God. That's completely God. All totally through and through because half the time in my day, I'm always upset. I'm always mad. I'm doing something, yelling. I don't know. I'm just like one of those types of people, I guess, that have bitterness or I don't know what you call it. Maybe I'm going through depression or I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just one of those types of people that probably if God was to come like right now, I'd be like caught in the act of doing something wrong because I just always, I don't know. I'm always doing something wrong. So, but, um, pray for me. Um, and I mean that sincerely pray for me. I don't want to be left behind. I have a bunch of children that I don't want left behind either. And I don't want them to, to feel like they have to worry about my salvation because it's not their responsibility. They didn't have me. Um, I'm responsible for my own actions, but I do need prayer. So please pray for me. You don't even have to know me. You doesn't even have to be long. I just would appreciate it. Even if I never meet you or never never get to see you or whatever. Even write it down. I pray for you. You know. Good luck or whatever. I don't know. Just something. But I'm going to make you some more videos. So I'm, I'm going to try to upload this one. And if anybody thinks that they know what I was talking about in the dream or can interpret it. Can you please leave a comment down below or um, email me at ilugh at yahoo.com. Alright. Um, God bless everybody and... Talk to y'all later.